hi everyone welcome to this particular video so in our previous video we have already discussed about this particular list uh we, i have given you the detailed uh, introduction of this particular list and i told you why it is uh, super important inside uh, uh, python and how you can store the data inside a list right so in this particular video we'll be discussing about list inbuilt methods okay so there are some inbuilt method inside list so these are the method actually you can use whenever you are uh, writing your program so this will uh, make your task very easy okay so what i will do i'll uh, go to my code editor and try to uh, discuss this particular uh, uh list method inside python so guys there are uh, so many uh, list uh, methods are functional available so so here you can see these are the list methods are available so here we'll be exploring all of them one by one but uh, some of them are not required uh whenever let's say you are creating an against a project so whenever you are learning something from your mentor uh, also try to do the self exploration that will give you like more knowledge on that particular specific topic so let's uh, try to start uh, with this particular list method and function so there are some uh, most used actually uh, list uh, methods and function i'll be discussing in this particular video and these are the functionality actually you'll be using a lot okay in your projects and all so the first uh, method actually i'll be discussing about which is nothing but append append means let's say you want to add uh, any item in uh, in a specific list so you can use this particular append function so let, let me give you an example let's say l is a list and inside that let's say i'm having some value let's say one uh two three four now if i print this particular array you will see that i'm having this uh, these are the item okay in this particular array now let's say i want to add uh, another item in this particular list so for this i can use this particular append uh, function so simply i'll just uh, call l dot append okay l dot append and here you just need to give that particular item like which item you want to store in this particular list let's say i'll give five here i'll give five here now if i execute this particular program see this particular five has been added in this particular list so if you want to check it what you can do you can simply print this particular so what you can do you can simply print this particular list again now you'll see that uh, five has been added so i think i remember i uh, told you uh, this list is nothing but it's a mutable okay i'll just try to remember list is mutable so let me write right here lists is mutable okay you can change the list okay so let's try to remember this particular uh, things list is mutable but i, I think i remember i told you uh, uh string a string is not immutable because inside a string i can't change anything uh, i can't actually add anything there i think you remember let's say this is my string let's say is equal to buppy and now let's say i want to change uh uh, let's say i want to change anything inside this particular string let's say i want to uh, change this particular uh, b with any other let's say index zero and let's say i want to change with a so it will throw me error a string not uh does not support item assignment but the list actually we can change so let me give you one example let's say this is my list and now let's say i want to change this particular one with any other value i can easily do it i'll just call this particular list object and i'll uh, give the index of this particular let's say item let's say the index is zero that means one now i want to change this particular one with let's say 100 now if i execute this particular program i'll print it print this particular list now see this particular one has been changed with 100 that means you can change inside a list it's possible that's why it's mutable okay that's why it's mutable so let me show you another example let's say i want to change this particular four with any other value yes you can do it so i'll copy this particular code now let's say what is the four index zero one two three so here i have to give three now let's say i want to change with 200 now if i execute this particular program you'll see that this particular four will replace with 200 so this is called actually editing uh with index okay this is called actually editing with indexing okay because here i'm using indexing now here you can perform uh edit with slicing as well so let me give you an, another example let's say this is my list this is my list now what i will do let's say i want to change these are the value let's say i want to change uh two three and four with any other value so what i will do i'll just do the slicing first of all so here i will write uh from one uh zero one two three that means four till four i want to change with other value so here i have to give the value as a list let's say i want to change with uh 200 then 300 and let's say 400 now if i print this particular list print l you will see that all the value would be changed okay all the item would be changed so that's how actually you can do editing with slicing both you can do inside a list okay now i think this part is clear why we call this particular list as a mutable okay mutable data type so uh, one function we have learned called append append means if you want to add something at the end of that particular list 
okay so you can use this particular append function that time i always try to remember append will okay append will add append will add a value at the last position of that particular list at the last position of that particular list see if i uh, if i again do the append operation let's say let's say i'll add another number i'll just call l dot append let's say i want to add uh, 200 okay i want to add 200 now first of all i will execute this particular line then i will execute this particular line then i will print this particular l now you see that first of all uh, 5 will add at the last then 200 will add at the last see it will always add uh, that particular item at the last position of that particular list okay this is the idea and that's how we can use this particular append function now there is another one called extend so let me also show you this particular extend example so what i will do i'll copy this particular same list but uh, before discussing this particular extend i will uh, discuss two more concepts inside this particular uh, append let's say um, i'll copy this particular code i'll copy this particular code and here i will paste it now let's say if i just write l dot append l dot append uh, if i give let's say um, six seven and eight now just pause this particular video and let me know what will be the output okay what will be the output just let me know see if i execute this particular program you will see that uh this particular list would be appended in this particular list now see this is my list and inside this particular list this particular list has been appended okay it's not like that it will only add the values it will uh, add the entire list because you are you are giving the list type data here this type data that's why it will store that particular list so similar concept can be also applied with any other type data let's say if i just write l dot append let's say if i give true here so it will uh, add that particular true let me show you if i print the l right now now I'll see uh, two has been added now you can see true has been added at the last position of that particular list that means you can add any kinds of data any kinds of data type in this particular list with the help of this particular append all right now let's try to discuss this particular extend now see extend is uh, slightly powerful than your append so in append you can see we can only we can only add one specific value okay we can only add one specific item but let's say I am having some list of the, let's say uh, here I will just write A is equal to. So let's say I'm having some list of the number. Let's say here I'm having, let's say 10, 11 and 12. So now what I want to do, I want to add these are the item in this particular list. These are the item in this particular list. So for this, I can use this particular extend. So I'll just write L dot extend. Okay, L dot extend. And what what is the things I want to extend? I want to extend this particular A. These, these are the item I want to extend. So I'll just give the A here. Now, if I print this particular A, L, if I print this particular L, you will see that these are the value would be added. Now, see, it is not a list. It's an item only. It's an integer item only. That's how you can use this particular extend. Now, so if you have one specific item, if you want to add at the last position of a list, you can use the append. And if you have list of the item, and if you want to add them at the last position of a list, you can use the extend function for this. I hope this part, part is clear. Now, one question uh, I will ask you. Let's say if I just write it L dot extend. Okay, L dot extend. If I give, let's say, hello here. So, what will be the output? Just let me know. Let me know in the comment. What will be the output? So, if I execute this particular program, you'll see that this is the output. That means, so here what is happening? It, it is taking all the character one by one and it is storing uh, inside this particular list. That is the idea. Fine. Now the next function will be uh, learning about this particular insert. See, as of now, we saw uh, if you want to add something at the last position of, uh, of a list, I can use the append or I can use this particular extend. Extend also it is adding at the last position, right? But let's say I want to uh, add something. I want to add something in a specific position. Let's say I want to add one uh, item in this particular position. Let's say after one, it would be added. After one, it would be added. Let's say at the index position, let's say a zero, one okay one position this uh, i want to add any specific item so for this i can use this particular insert so let me give you one example let's say if i just write l dot insert now let's say i want to insert at the uh, index number one index number one and here i want to give the number the number actually i want to add let's say i want to add 200 now if i execute this particular program print l you'll see that uh zero one at the index number one 
this particular 200 has been uh, this particular 200 has been added so insert always takes two uh, input uh, one is like the uh, position the position actually want to add the value and second is the value actually want to add i hope this part is clear now see as i already told you list is a mutable okay mutable data type so here you can um, add any kinds of data you can also delete any kinds of data it's possible so let me show you uh, one example of deletion so here let me first of all comment uh, deleting items from a list so for this i can use this particular del keyword so I'll, let's say first of all i'll take a list so i will take this particular list hmm. now let's say i want to delete this particular one so for this what i will just write i'll just write del and here i will give the index of this particular one so it would be zero now if i print this particular l now i'll see that this one would be deleted this one would be deleted so with the help of del keyword you can delete any kinds of item present inside a list okay now you can perform the same thing with the help of slicing as well so let me give you another example i'll copy now instead of giving only index i'll give the slice uh, slice value let's say i want to delete uh, uh let's say two and three so what i will give i'll give the range so range would be two is starting from one and it is ending uh zero one two three that means it will go till three now if i just do the uh, delete operation and i'll see that only one and four would be there that's how you can perform the delete operation but inside actually uh, at least we are having some uh inbuilt function okay inbuilt function for the deletion as well so let me show you some of them so the first function we'll be discussing about remove okay so what is the remove example let me show you so let's say this is my list now let's say i want to remove one uh, item let's say i want to remove uh, this particular four see initially i had to pass the index initially i had to pass the index uh if i want to delete anything but let's say I, I don't want to pass the index i i want to directly pass that particular uh, item um, name okay the item actually i want to remove so what i will do i'll use this particular remove so i'll just write l dot remove and inside that you can mention which item you, you want to delete let's say i want to delete this particular four here i will give the four now if i execute this particular program i'll print this particular l okay i'll print this particular l and i'll see that this particular four would be removed so if you want to remove something you can use this particular remove function that time now the next function will be learning uh, about pop okay what pop will do so this is the opposite of your append so append what uh, append does uh, append actually usually append any kinds of that means it will add any kinds of uh, item at the last position of that uh, of a list and what pop does pop will uh, remove one element okay uh, from the last position of an uh, of, a, of a list okay let me show you so let's say if i just do l dot pop okay if i do l dot pop and now if i just print this particular l you will see that one item would be removed that means the last item pop will always try to remove the last item okay last item so if you again perform the pop operation let's say l dot pop again you will see that it will remove the last one that means the three now see one and two would be there so it will only remove the last item okay last item from a list that is the idea opposite of append now there is another function called clear so let me show you one clear example let's say this is my list and if i want to clear this particular list that means i don't want to take any kinds of uh, item inside this particular list i will do the clear operation and now if i print this particular list you'll see that this particular list would be completely empty there is nothing uh, that means if you want to clear your uh, data inside a list you can use this particular clear function so some common function we can also use uh, inside this particular list so we can use this particular length mean max and sorted so let me give you some example so let's say this is my list and uh, on top of this particular list you can apply these are the common function like you can uh, if you want to check the length of a like uh, list you can use this particular length function if you want to check the minimum value you can use this particular mean if you want to check the maximum value of this particular list you can use this max and if you want to sort okay if you want to sort this particular uh let's say uh, array in ascending order or descending order you can also do it so let me execute this particular code you will see that uh, this is the length length is four or one two three four that means one uh, four items i'm having minimum value is one and maximum value is four and if you do the sort operation you will see that uh, the sort actually we're doing this descending sort like reverse is equal to true so it is sorting four uh three uh two one okay now if you just make it as false it will do the ascending order okay it will do the ascending order at that time okay so these are the common function you can also apply on top of the list apart from that we are having some more uh inbuilt function let me discuss so the next one we'll be discussing about count so let me take the same example now in this particular example i will add some more value let's say four four and five now let's say you want to count one specific item like how many times it is occurring in that particular list okay let's say if i just do the count count of four you will see that four is coming three times in this particular list one two three 
now if i give five it is coming two time okay that's how we can also make a count you can also make a count so that's how actually you can make a count of uh, of any item inside a list now the next one we are having something called index now what index will uh, give you index will give you the index number of a item so let me show you let's say this is my uh, list and now if i perform l dot uh, index and let's say i want to check the index of one so if i give one here so it will give me zero because you can see at the zero index one is present now let's say if i want to check the two i'll give two here it will give me one now if you want to get to know any index number of any kinds of item in a uh, list you can use this particular index function function that time now the next one we're having something called reverse so let me take an example let's say i'll copy hmm. if i perform l dot reverse and if i print this particular l now i'll see that all the number would be all the item would be reversed okay now you can see four is coming then three then two then one that means if you want to perform the reverse operation you can use this particular reverse so the same thing uh can be also done with the help of this particular sorted okay sorted function sorted common function now there is another one called sort so let me also show you one sort example what i can do i can create a new uh list here inside that i'll just mention some value let's say four uh two one uh 55 and 10 okay let's say these are the value actually i'm having in this particular list now if i perform sort operation let's say if i do uh l dot sort and now if i print this particular list you will see that all the items would be sorted okay inside that you can see that all the item would be sorted so you can see uh one is the smallest one then two then four then ten and uh 55 now there is an uh now there is another one called copy so copy can be used let's say i want to copy this particular list any other variable i can do it so i'll just write let's say uh l1 okay l1 is equal to l dot copy okay l dot copy so now if i print this particular l1 you'll see that uh all the items actually i had inside my l everything would be present inside l1 right now now let's say if i change anything inside l inside the original list let's say if i just do l dot append let's say i will add 500 in this particular list now if i print this particular list you will see that 500 has been added now if i print this particular l1 see there is no change inside l1 that means i copied okay i copied these are the items already inside this particular l1 that means it is a separate object this is a separate object you can check let's say i can use this particular id id function to check let's say if i show you the l uh l uh, memory id you can see this is the l memory id and i will show you the l1 memory id as well i think it was l1 yeah l1 memory id see both are different that means whatever changes actually we're doing inside this particular list it won't be reflecting inside this particular list because it is uh, getting because it is completely creating uh, another object in the memory okay that is the idea so yes guys these are like very common uh commonly used uh like uh, function inside list or you can also call it as method inside list okay and these are the uh, functionality actually will help you a lot going forward whenever you will do the projects and all so in the next video i'll try to discuss some operation on top of list like how uh what are the operations actually we can perform to, uh, on top of the list okay so either guys thank you so much uh, for watching this particular video and i will see you next time